Thanks to this gentleman, we poor people can play poorly optimized, resource-hungry games on our teeny tiny computers for free. Don't be confused. I am not the model. I am just a YouTube guy. I just copy-paste things and make a video about it. He's doing the heavy load with other contributors. I just want to say thank you to everyone that making this project possible. So leave a like and subscribe. When you do that, YouTube will push these videos further and more people will see this. It helps me and the viewer too. First you need to make a desktop shortcut of the game. To do that, go to the game's installation location and go to SH Proto Binaries Win64. Make a desktop shortcut of the game application. After that, right click on the shortcut and go to properties. And in the target section, put a space and hyphen DX12. This will force the game to run in DX12 mode. For Steam users, you can set this exact command in the launch options of the game. I don't know if this will work for AMD or Intel users. But for GTX users and RTX users, this will definitely work. For this, we need the latest version of OptiScaler. So I made it really easy for you guys. These renaming steps are confusing for some people. So I just made it like this. And now you all have to do is copy these files to the game application location. If you have previously installed any older versions of OptiScaler or any other upscalers, please remove everything. After copying everything, go to DLSS override folder and run enable signature override registry file. And then don't open the game from launcher or from where we copied the files. Open the game using desktop shortcut that we made before. Go to settings and set the upscaling method to DLSS. Press the insert key to get this menu. You can change the key to home key if you want. To do that, open nvngx.ini file and search for key. And in the shortcut key section, you can remove the auto and put 36 in there and save. Now in game, press the home key to open the menu instead of insert key. If you have a NVIDIA GPU, you can use DLSS, but DLSS FPS is lower than FSR3. You can see when I change to FSR 3.1.1, I get extra 7 to 8 FPS, but the DLSS image is clearer and sharper than FSR 3. Now when I turn on frame generation, I get 30 to 40 FPS. Notice my CPU usage is getting higher and higher. I will show you a comparison before and after install the mod. So this needs a good CPU. If you have a decent one, expect more FPS and stable gameplay. And these random flashes, they will get fixed. Mod needs more tinkering. Stutters and freezes only happens when I am recording. Otherwise, game works well. The game doesn't have much UI to begin with. So open your map and when you press the space, you can see the UI is flickering. Now when you turn on the hard fix, it's actually fixed the flickering issue and it didn't turn off frame generation. You can test it by opening the map again. And most importantly, make sure not to run any kind of overlay when you're using this hard fix. It will interfere with it and the fix will not work. You can still see some minor flickering. You can reduce it by increasing this value in front of the hard fix option. I wouldn't go beyond value 2, but you can try. When you go higher, it will break frame generation. And now it's working better than before. It's really playable. And with frame generation, you will always have some kind of issue. So take it as it is what it is. And this time, you can use async as well. And when I turn on FG allow async, I get 2 to 3 FPS more.
if you don't like in game sharpening if you think in game dlss quality is too blurry you can take this quality override thingy and change the sharpening value even if i use dlss quality when i do this it's more sharper than before this change is happening right now like when you change the slider it's changing the game and in the previous video i said if you need to save the changes that you do in the menu you have to edit the nvngx.ini file but you can save changes just by clicking this save ini button when you click it once it will save the changes to the nvngx.ini file so you don't have to do it all over again and now i will play for some time some people say that when they use this mod their game crashed after some time and if you have an amd card or intel card try this and let others know so thank you for watching until next video adios amigos here.